What is up my friends? Hopefully you're doing well and enjoying this Super Bowl weekend. Now, if you're familiar with my channel for any length of time, you probably already know that I love to buy and sell things. Just about anything if I can clean it up or repair it and then turn it around and sell it to someone else and give it a new home. Uh, it's what I really like to do, but my real passion is buying and selling video games. And as you saw in the thumbnail, I've been in a slump and it's been a massive slump that's gone back over six months, even going back to Mo Game Con, which was back in July of last year. You fucking kidding me? So thankfully that slump has finally ended, and in today's video I want to go over some things that I recently purchased off Facebook Marketplace. I also wanted to kind of touch on some reasons why I think I was in such a slump, and then maybe go over some things that I could possibly do in the future to prevent a slump like this from happening again. All right, guys, with all that out of the way, let me show you what I picked up. So here are the first couple of items, two Super NES Juniors. All these actually came from the same seller. Initially, he had posted just one of these, and when I reached out to him, he actually said that he had another one plus some other consoles if I was interested. So he set a price of 140 for all of this right here, which includes both consoles, which are in near mint condition, four OEM controllers, all the original hookups, and 12 games. Uh, a few gems in there, two copies of Super Mario World, Maximum Carnage, and a minty, minty fresh copy of Super Punch-Out that looks like it's never been played. And I'm actually considering keeping one of these juniors because I don't actually own one and these are in such good condition. The final item is this black Sega Sports Dreamcast that came with the original black controller, an extra translucent blue controller, and four games. Now, the console's got a few scratches, but they tend to show up more on these black models. Now, he wanted 160 for all this, which is a little bit more than what I wanted to spend, but it was still under value, so I jumped on it. The total price paid for everything was $300, and conservatively, it's valued at a little over $600. So, I think I did pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. All right, so now that I went over the items that I picked up, I just wanted to, to quickly touch on some of the reasons why I think that I was in this slump for so long. The number one reason that I think contributed to a lot of this was the fact that people are becoming just more savvy. I think with all of the, the recent sales of these sealed video games from WADA and, and these other auctions, I think a lot of articles that have come out I think just word of mouth from people. Um, maybe they're just talking with a neighbor and they're like, yeah, I got some old video games and I was gonna donate them. And then people just say, no, 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 you're sitting on a gold mine. You know, you, you, you can't just give those away. You could be sitting on thousands of dollars. And a lot of that has kind of, uh, I think, tainted Facebook Marketplace and, and things like that because people just think that everything they have is worth a lot of money. And sometimes that may be the case, but oftentimes it's not. People think they, they have an old Game Boy and they just automatically think, well, because it's old and it's from you know the, the late 80s, early 90s, that it's just gotta be worth one or $200. And that's, that's just not true. False. But a lot of things that I'm seeing are, are just priced too high and they end up being right around retail or above. And you know it's just, just not worth it for me, whether you're a collector or someone who's a reseller. Now, another factor that's very important when you're trying to get a deal uh, on any site, especially Facebook, is just luck. It's just being at the right place at the right time. It's seeing something faster than somebody else. And um, just because I haven't scored a deal in six months didn't mean that I had opportunities. There was many times where I would message someone and the item that I'm looking at had just been posted for say two, maybe three minutes tops. And there was still two to three people ahead of me. And it, it just, it boggles the mind. Like, I can't respond any faster. How can I be third in line with something that literally just got posted? I mean, you really can't see something any faster. I've never seen something that just been posted for one minute. You know, it's, so two to three minutes is about as fast as it gets. If I'm still not first in line at that point, I'm never gonna get a deal, really. But I'm constantly refreshing Facebook and um, I, I guess I just have to be better at, at, at what I'm doing if I want to score because I, I have to assume that in addition to myself, there could be 20 to 30 people looking at the same thing or looking for the same thing or, or whatever. Which leads me to my next point. Now, in my area, 
I think that there's a higher concentration of people that are doing what I'm doing. Now, whether they're just doing it for fun or whether they're doing it to supplement their income or maybe it's their only source of income or, or maybe they're just massive collectors, there's just so many people that are looking for video games right now. And I know this because when I've been to conventions, I've actually met with people that actually pointed to items on the table that I had and they pinpointed where I got that item and how long ago it was. So they were familiar with that particular item and they knew what town I got it from and what I paid for it. And apparently they were behind me in, in the messaging process with, with the seller and then they lost out to it, but I was the one that got it. So I know right there that there's just so many random people that are in my area that are all looking for video games. And maybe there's people in different states that are just doing better because people around them just aren't very savvy. Maybe they live in a small town and, and people just don't really know that video games are worth a lot of money. But where I'm at in the St. Louis area, it's very, very competitive. And um, it's one of the reasons why I've sworn off garage sales and, and even flea markets to an extent because I just can't cover the amount of ground that it takes to find a deal. I just feel like there's a lot of luck that comes with doing this and lately luck's just not been on my side. So what are some things that I could do in the future to, to keep from a slump like this happening again? You can start by wiping that fuck. So one of them I already kind of touched on was uh, getting my notifications a little bit better on Facebook so I can see things a little bit faster. Uh, another thing would be to start garage sailing more and going to flea markets every Sunday. Those are things that I just stopped doing because when gas prices started to get higher, I felt like I was just wasting so much time. Uh, with the flea market, you know, it, it's just a massive area. So even if you got there right when it opens, there's different directions to go. And you could go straight, you could go left, you could go right. And depending on which direction you go, you could be missing a deal on the other side or, or, or whatever. So again, a lot of that is luck, but it's, it's also, you know, I'm just one person. And I feel like sometimes I'm going up against people that maybe have two or three people. You go this way, you go that way, I'll go this way. And they're covering more ground. And the same goes for garage sales. Again, I can only map out so many places and start somewhere as early as I can and somebody else may be, have two or three people and they're, they're just going and covering more ground at one time. I think I, I've just been so, I guess, shut out on garage sales and then you spend four hours of your day driving around and wasting gas and coming home with nothing. It just, uh, it really, really cuts you down and you just think like, man, I can't do this anymore. I know it takes one good deal to, to really pay for that day and to, to make it all worthwhile. But, you know, I can only take so many Saturdays of just wasted time and money and gas and, and um, you know, I, I just decided not to do it anymore. Um, I would hit some randomly if they were close by, if I would just happen to go buy one. But I always ask, and if they did have video games, they were like, oh, no, that was the first thing that went. So, again, I think a lot of it has to do with luck, but it's, it's also... Again, I have a lot of people that, that I have competition with. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this video. Let me know what you think of these deals that I picked up. And here's what I want to know from you. Are you experiencing the same thing in your area? Are you in a slump? Are people pricing things too high? Are you just having some bad luck? Let me know down in the comments and, and something that, uh, that you've picked up lately. I'd love to hear about it. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on the notification bell so you know when I upload videos like this one. All right, guys, I will see you all next time. Thanks so much for watching.